So uh, before the speakeasy opened, um, I had heard kind of rumblings about it through the startup community. And I knew there were four founders, um, but I didn't know any of them personally. So I kind of went through and I, I Googled all of them and figured out, you know, who's, who is doing what and what are their backgrounds and who are they? Um, and I coined it professional stacking or, you know, purposely networking um, and finding kind of one of them in particular that I felt I'd, I knew a good deal about him. Um, so I asked four people I knew that we had in common to introduce, send introductions, email introductions between myself and, and to this person. Um, and then I showed up where he was going to be speaking. So after he presented, I went over to him and I introduced myself and I said, hi, I'm, I'm Denver Hutt. And he responded, I keep hearing your name everywhere. You know, who are you? What do you do? Um, and it was a great way to you know, be able to score time with him and be able to sit down and, um, and learn more about his vision for the speakeasy. And after that, I actually then pretended to have the job. So they hadn't yet opened. Um, and I kind of said, hey, based on what you've told me, it sounds like this would be a great program for you. This would be a good opportunity for you. Do you mind if I go ahead and organize something on behalf of the speakeasy? Uh, and amazingly, they said yes. So I did that for about two months. And then when they finally secured funding to hire someone on, uh, I think it was a little easier for them to give me the keys to that kingdom because they knew more about me and they knew my work ethic and what I was hoping to do with the space.